Well, it's fall again, and static season is upon us, so I thought I'd take a chance with putting together this new system to give some information on static reduction for dust collection. If you follow these steps, it should make your job easier. Use only as much metal pipe as possible. Use only a good quality hose with embedded wire. Make sure the wire gets grounded back to the dust collector. Install an insulated standoff to keep the dust hose away from the machine and install a bare wire inside the hose. Make sure the embedded wire and the interior wire get grounded at the dust collector not at the machine. Do not let it touch the machine. Watch out when vacuuming. I'm using an inexpensive dust collector but I am using metal pipe with screwed connections and I'll use the metal as far as I can go. In fact, I could have gone farther, but uh, the metal gives me a good place to connect the wires to get them grounded. This shows how the embedded wire is connected with the terminal to the metal pipe and also the wire that runs through the dust hose also gets connected. I like to test these with a voltmeter off the hot side of the outlet. Following the system on down from the top, you can see that I'm using an insulated standoff that gives me strain relief and it makes sure that the dust hose does not touch against any of the wires or the frame of the machine. Coming around the front, uh, I connect both sections of that hose uh, together with a wire crimp and you can see it goes down towards the dust foot. This section here shows the bottom of that wire going through the hose and how I bring it out and keep it away from the machine. Another item to watch is to make sure that you have enough hose and enough slack from your standoff to allow movement uh, of the dust foot and or the Z up and down.